My name is Bobby Gordon, um, and I have a one-man show called Debbie Does My Dad about growing up as the son of a former porn star. And how did you first find out about your dad's occupation? Um, I have no idea. I actually have no recollection of when I first found out, and I, in response to that, I would ask, um, what does your dad do for a living? He's a doctor. Do you remember when you found out? No. <laughs> Exactly, it was that normal, um, which is such an interesting thing. I, I, when I sat down to write the show, I really questioned myself, like, really? I don't remember when, but it really was that normal. My dad, you know, was a former porn star and now writes about the X-rated industry, and it was as normal as my mom being a therapist. I'm the baby of three, so I have, I have two older sisters, and seriously, by the time anything came my way, I was way behind, so I caught up. You know, by the time I learned about it, my sisters had known about it for years, so it was not like, oh my God, Dad, you should be a porn star. It was like, Dad was a porn star. Yeah, we've known for five years. Great. <laughs> Newsflash. Welcome, welcome to the family, Bob. I actually have not seen Debbie Does Dallas. The first scene, first of all, my dad wasn't in Debbie Does Dallas. He was in um, Debbie Does Dishes, which is the, the, one of the sequels to Debbie Does Dallas. Um, but one of the opening scenes in the show, I actually, actually the opening scene of the show, I talk about how um, um, I avoided any porn made before like 1985, just to be safe. So um, I talk about, I go through all of what Debbie Does Dallas was, the whole, the whole um, plot, talk about Bambi Woods, and I say all of this information I know from Wikipedia since I, there's no way I ever saw it. Um, it just, you know, if, if I'm masturbating, I have no interest in going anywhere near um, you know, my dad's thing. Let's, you know, that, let's put that on another planet. Um, you know, I love my dad. I respect what he did in the industry. I'm not trying to masturbate anywhere near it. The irony of being a boy is that every single one of us has invented masturbation. Um, you know, we, we might not all admit to it, but we, you know, we certainly, everyone's had that moment in the tub where they're like, oh my God, this feels incredible. Does anyone else know about this? Um, so I discovered it on my own and then, um, you know, earlier, earlier than that, actually, before I started masturbating, uh, before I could masturbate, of course, when I was too young, my dad just tried to get through me. I was a really anxious kid. And so my dad's solution to a lot of that anxiety was just to try and get me out of it. So it was grab your dick. You know, and, you know it wasn't the only solution he tried. It was after, you know, a few, you know, after attempts at calming me down didn't work, just, all right, grab your dick. And it was just so what that something about it just worked. You know, like, it was just like, okay, like, that's the weirdest advice that I could possibly get. And there's something about it that's just so, it, it treats sex in such just a light and fun way, as just like a goodie that can distract you from a lot of the, a lot of the things that are tough. And, you know, in the scene, I'm eight years old, and, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't work so well, because, you know, when you grab your dick at eight, it's like grabbing your elbow. But um, I think for, for people who are seeing the show now and who are in their 20s and 30s and on, yeah, there's something to that. Like, you know, you're having a bad day. Having your dick isn't such a bad way to turn things around. My dad grew up in an Orthodox Jewish household. Um, touching yourself was not something you talked about or had any support in doing. Um, there's so much shame about the body. Um, and what an amazing gift my parents gave me that masturbation was okay. You know, I remember I didn't I didn't get caught. Well, I got caught. Yeah, all right, I'll admit to it. I got caught with my dad's Playboys, and I was mortified. Even knowing you know, who my dad was, even knowing that at the end of the day I was just supporting the family business, I was still mortified. And you know, I was ready for my parents to be pissed at me. I was ready for a lecture, I was ready for all of it. And instead, you know, my, my parents took the stack of Playboys, put it in my room, and my dad put a lock on my door. God, what a gift telling a, a kid that it's okay to explore. What a beautiful message to give. Um, and why not give it? Um, God, I feel lucky about that. And I, I would encourage more parents to treat their kids that way. And I would encourage more people who have that guilt to just, if it's possible to step outside it and just love yourself and explore yourself, oh my God, do it. You know, you have one life. You're hurting no one by masturbating. Enjoy your body. That's, that seems like such a, such a step one. We're on this planet for a short amount of time. Um, if you're not hurting anyone, enjoy yourself. And where can we see your show? Um, you can see my show, uh, you can see information about my show at DebbieDoesMyDad.com. And if you're in Scotland this fall, it's going to be doing a three, uh, three week run at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. And it'll be touring around, so check DebbieDoesMyDad.com for, uh, for more information.